Really excited to be here. Uh, cool, so I had to apologize, uh, like this demo was supposed to be um, uh, running on Wi-Fi, but I had some uh, connection issues. So I managed to put it locally in 20 minutes. So if I have some jitters here and there, so uh, I, I, I think you'll forgive me. So we'll talk about using subscriptions in our view apps. And a um, couple of words about myself. I'm developer advocate at Hasura. I have a booth over there, you can uh, check it out. I'm also Google Developer Expert, author, consultant, and I work in all these like fancy field. Um, yeah, my Twitter handle, my website, and um, um, I want you to raise your hand. How much of you use GraphQL? Know what GraphQL is? Great. So that's because I have only one slide about GraphQL. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, query <laughs> query language for, for your API. Uh, and yeah, let, we have like uh, only seven minutes, so let's jump in how you use subs GraphQL subscriptions with, uh, with Vue. So I want to show you in general how subscription works. So we have here Hasura console, and Hasura gives you auto-generated GraphQL API on top of uh, existing or a new Postgres database. So I have here um, basic two tables, posts and users, and um, I can query my API. Let's say I want to get all posts. So I want to get title of all my posts. I will get only one. So my view app is somewhere. Yeah, so this is, again, <laughs> whole styling was supposed to load over Wi-Fi, so <laughs> forgive me for that. But this is just a regular app. I can uh, add a new post. Add data, and this data is added. So I can do it with refresh queries with GraphQL if you're familiar with that. Basically, the idea is when you do mutation, you can pass refresh queries parameter, and it will refresh the the query. But this is actually a subscription working. So um, let me sh prove it to you. If I go to posts, and I have my post here, and I will change it to post one. So it was supposed to change the post one. But it's not, let's figure out what's wrong and uh, why is that in the actual code. So this is the, the code of our app. We're using Apollo query as a query component inside our template. Obviously we can use it in that way or we can use it on uh, Apollo provider fast here, like this. So we, we, we can do it in that way. But I use, uh, here I use only the, uh, the Apollo query component. Now the reason it didn't work because I have Apollo subscribe to more here, and this component, this is one of the ways to use subscriptions. In my example here, I fetch only the latest updates on, uh, um, on my um, post list. So I have a list of posts that order descending and I update only the last ones. Um, so this is one use case how you, you can use subscriptions. Other use case you can just I can just remove this component, and I can do I can just subscribe for uh, for updates. So this is called small, small subscriptions, and I can do subscribe inside have posts and we'll get a query that I have somewhere. Uh, it's from here, get posts. Let's just get posts. And let's actually change that to be subscription. So now, whenever our query is returned, we get a result. Now our result will get the data, which we can then put on our posts. Now let's see, where was it? <laughs> let's reload that. 
it's not running. Sorry about that. I told you about the Wi-Fi. Okay, I have an arrow somewhere in my subscriptions here. I mean, always the, the dem uh, with the live demos, that's the case, right? So let's try to reload that and we'll see it from the console menu. Okay, we have a query definition of all query. Yeah, the reason why, um, well, th the problem was because in our, we haven't updated the actual component, right? So we use subscription, but we still have this Apollo query. So let's just remove our Apollo query and the template. And here we'll use in posts. Then we still have increasing amount of errors. <laughs> Okay, loading. We can actually reference Apollo loading for that. We can reference Apollo error for that. We don't need this data anymore. Okay, fine. Now, our post is updated. Now let's try to update it from here. get into our data, posts, have this one, and that. And it was updated, right? So this is another way of using subscription. N now, the, the, um, there are lots of ways, but another really important way of using subscriptions is instead of using so-called small subscription, we can use subscribe to more. So I will just return everything back how it was. And um, here, I actually already ha have this Apollo subscribe to more, right? Have this as a component. But instead of having it as a component, in a si similar way, I can pass it on my Apollo object. So basically, it will mean and instead of doing this small subscription, instead of doing low subscribe, I can now just do a query. So removing that, removing that, actually removing a result too. Just skipping get posts as a query and passing here another already called sub subscribe to more, I will just copy paste that because it will be easier. <laughs> so the document that I want to require is the one I had in this like a post subscribe to more component. So it's get last post. So whenever the last post will be added, it will be added. Uh, we have duplicate keys because we need to check if we have the previous result and the current result has the same keys, but I think we will leave with this error. So uh, let's just add another post and we'll see it updated. Uh, now let's actually confirm that it's working uh, by adding our post here. I think I had somewhere the insert post mutation. Let's try to add, actually, let's try to add uh, not only the, um, the post itself, but let's try to add a new user. We will add data, and in our data we have something like that. I need to provide last name. I have a row handling here inside the console. So uh, last name, 
run that, and you see it was updated because subscriptions. So um, to conclude, like the whole this example, there are lots of things to discuss about like, doing subscriptions, doing queries, doing invitation in general, doing uh, GraphQL review. So um, I kind of want to take opportunity to be um, um, that, that I'm on the stage and kind of announce that that uh, if I will find this link actually, yeah. So I released this view and GraphQL course today, actually an hour ago. So it's on Dev2. So you check out the Twitter. It's 13 videos on how you do GraphQL and uh, use Hasura and in general use GraphQL with with view. So we have all the explanations of subscription, subscribe to more, how you do that. Uh, so yeah, check this out. And uh, uh, thanks for having me. Um, I have another repo, like Code Sandbox, that was supposed to be this demo. So there, there is URL for that. This is my Twitter handle, and uh, thanks. <laughs>